Hey guys, welcome back. We're on Deuteronomy chapter 21. Moses is still talking. He says, When you are in the land the Lord your God is giving you, someone may be found murdered in a field, and you don't know who committed the murder. In such a case, your elders and judges must measure the distance from the site of the crime to the nearby towns. When the nearest town has been determined, that town's elders must select from that the herd a young cow that has never been trained or yoked to a plow. They must lead it down to a valley that has not been plowed or planted and that has a stream running through it. There in the valley, they must break the young cow's neck. Okay, so if you find a dead body, you have to take a cow and break its neck. Okay. Then the Levitical priests must step forward for the Lord. Your God has chosen them to minister before him and to pronounce blessings in the Lord's name. They are to decide all legal and criminal cases. Yeah, I'll trust them. I mean, they fucking break a cow's neck when they find a dead body. Sure. The, 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 the elders of the town must wash their hands over the young cow whose neck was broken. Then they must say, Our hands did not shed this person's blood, nor did we see it happen. O oh Lord, forgive your people Israel, whom you have redeemed. Do, do, do not charge your people with the guilt of murdering an innocent person. Then they will be absolved of the guilt of this person's blood. By following these instructions, you will do what is right in the Lord's sight, and will cleanse the guilt of murder from your community. <coughs> Suppose you go out to war against your enemies, and the Lord your God hands them over to you and you take some of them as captives. And suppose you see among the captives a beautiful woman, and you are attracted to her and want to marry her. If this happens, you may take her to, you, to your home, where she must shave her head, cut her nails, and change the clothes she, she was wearing when she was captured. She will stay in your home, but let her mourn for her father and her mother for a full month. Then you may marry her, and you will be her husband, and she will be your wife. But if you marry her and she does not please you, you must let her go free. You may not sell her or treat her as a slave, for you have humiliated her. <laughs> Alright, so you're allowed to capture a woman and make her your sex slave. All right. Oh, oh, okay. I'm sorry. The wording they're using is "marry her." All right. You're allowed to capture a woman and marry her, and if she doesn't please you, you have to set her free so that you don't humiliate her. What? <laughs> Suppose a man has two wives. But he loves one and not the other, and both have given him sons. And suppose the firstborn son is the son of the wife he does not love. When the man divides his inheritance, he may not give the larger inheritance to his younger son, the son of the wife he loves, as if he were the firstborn son. He must re 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 recognize the rights of his oldest son, the son of the wife he does not love, by giving him a double portion. He is the first son of his father's virility. The rights of the firstborn belong to him. Suppose a man su suppose a man has a stubborn and rebellious son who will not obey his father or mother, even though they discipline him. In such a case, the father and mother must take the son to the elders as they hold court at the town gate. The parents must say to the elders, This son of ours is stubborn and re rebellious and refuses to obey. He is a glutton and a drunkard. The, then all the men of this town must stone him to death. What? <laughs> okay, so if you have a rebellious son, take him before the elders and get him stoned to death by all the people in the town. Okay, yeah. In this way, you will purge this evil from among you, and all Israel will hear about it and be afraid. And that is the point, is to make everyone afraid, isn't it? If someone has committed a crime worthy of death and is executed and hung on a tree, the body must not remain hanging from the tree overnight. You m m must bury the body that same day, for anyone who is hung is cursed in the sight of God. In this way, you will prevent the defilement of the land the Lord your God is giving you as, a, as your special possession. Well... That is Deuteronomy chapter 21. We will be back with Deuteronomy chapter 2, 22. 
Have a good one. Peace.